All right, hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws and this is our Wednesday afternoon live. We always get together on Wednesday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern time and we always draw a portrait. So if you're new to this group, welcome. Look, everyone's chiming in. We got AJ and Christopher, Pamela's in, great. So uh, if you're looking for a community to draw with, uh, I would highly recommend that you join our Facebook group. You're going to find the link down in the description. Uh, it's such an incredible collaboration of beginner drawers, all trying to help each other and encourage each other. And that's what I would do. So today we're going to take a look at this um, picture of this woman. Let me um, bring this up on my screen. There she is. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm really looking forward to to this. I did a quick little sketch I'll show you right before we uh, right before we got started here, and there it goes. And just to kind of warm up, and it's always it's always a good idea to uh, do a quick little overview before you jump into it, just to kind of warm warm up and uh, kind of get ready to go. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, really take a look at her hair today we're going to draw the whole how the whole entire face but what i want to do is uh, first take a look at this hair and the way that i want you to think of it i want you to think of it as one gigantic <laughs> hey christina one gigantic mass all right so let's let's start with this idea let's just kind of draw something like this Look at that. Is that easy? All right. So this is going to be a side view. All right. So this is kind of the way that I want you to think. I want you to think of like then her face, her face is going to be back here. All right. So I want you to think of this as a big old mass. That would, that would be a great place to start. Uh, tackle that hair. A few ideas. Okay. Sounds good, Chris. So that's first, all right, so let's bring up this now. Let's do this. Let's pretend, uh, you know, in the United States, we have these things called Q-tips. And they use Q-tips to, they have like a little cotton swab, a little cotton swab on top, right? So let's then, let's pretend like this Q-tip, we're gonna give it this hairdo that this girl has. And then this is going to be bangs, so it's going to come like this, right? We're going to draw the face in just a second. I want to go over this idea. But I want you to think of this as not as flat. I want you to think of it as round, as in, has volume. So down here, you, what you're going to do is add a little bit of value. This is the underside, okay? Let's get this a little bit bigger there. And of course, then as it comes into the light, I'm just adding some tone here. So when you draw hair, this is the way I want you to really think of, I don't want you to think of individual curls. I want you to think of what's the overall massive shape. What is up, Mr. John? <laughs> Kathleen jumped in, excellent. All right, so then from here now, now, now let's break it down a little bit smaller. Let's think of spheres, okay? So, you know, let's just say if, okay, if she had a, there's, there's one sphere there, right? And then maybe, maybe one is over here. There's one there maybe, and Okay, so that's all. I'm just, I'm just starting to get this idea. A sphere, spheres, and as, as cylinders. What am I, what am I doing? It's almost, you know, cylinders all over. Okay, so this is our basic approach on this. And then, then we can come back in here 
and start dealing with some of these some of these curls you see so if, if we were to slow down at this point this would take a little bit of time but you could kind of see how uh, how I would slowly break these things down in order to get my head around them so this is the way that I would approach and of course when you do draw hair I recommend that you practice using straights S curves and C curves. And these also can go in the opposite direction as well. There's an S, there's a C. All right, so these are the type of strokes that you wanna make sure that you are uh, using when, when drawing the hair. All right, how's that sound? Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that, move that out of the way. And let's get into this, okay? So when, when I approach drawing the head, I always start with a sphere. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are live, so if you, if you have a question, by all means, just drop it in the chat there. We'll see what we could do. Hey, Kim's chime, chiming in. Hello, Miss Kim. <laughs> Okay, so whenever I'm drawing a portrait, I think of three things. I think of 2D, 3D, and the placement of the face. And you want to uh, think of 3D. Is it leaning to the right or is it leaning to the left? Once you determine that, is it coming forward or is it going back? That's 3D. And then once you determine that, where along this, this plane is the face Pointing. That's the placement of the face. Now, in her case, she has given us a three-quarter view. So we've always got to remember that when we're drawing the three quarters, every every little bit of feature on her is going to be a three-quarter. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. Let's just say I was going to draw. Let's use her lips. The lips are a good example here. These aren't her lips, but we're just going to use them as a as a sample. So if a person was looking straight at me, there's their lips. And you can think of this almost as like a letter M, a letter V, and then another upside down V. Not upside down, just a wider V at the bottom there. You see that? So this, this face would be looking straight at us. Now, if this was a three-quarter view, let's... Go ahead and start with two dots. And now let's shift the center of those lips a little bit to the one side there. Cause that's, see, if I'm in a three, if I'm in a straight on view, I'm here. If I am a three quarter view, see this, this shifts a little bit. All right, let's go through those th same things again. So we're gonna have, there's a letter M. There's a letter V. And there's the other one. All right. So that's how we shift all the features. We just move the center line and then it, then we make sure that uh, this side is a little bit longer than this side. Okay. Or this side is more foreshortened than this side. And if you could just remember that one thing and then everything's going to, everything is going to start falling into place. I'm going to erase that here. All right, let's go. So our first are 2D, right? Uh, she's neither leaning left or to the right. All right, 3D, she is not looking forward or she's not tilting her head back. Great. Now the face placement, all right? So this is the center line. So we're going to be off center just a little bit over here. That will be her center line. Next thing I want to do is, is draw where the brow line is going to go. The brow line goes right through the brow. Okay. Okay. 
This right here is the where what you would call the third eye or the very uh, the very center. Okay, the gabella, I believe. So the gabella is going to be right about there. I'm going to slide that over just a little bit, right about there. And then the next the next point I want to look for is right here. Oops. This is going to be the temple of her eye. The temple, the temples of her eye. You could feel them right here in your own eyes. All right, so let's let's move this one over a little bit. And then this one, don't make it equal, push it out just a little bit further. This is our first three-quarter alignment that we're making. Right, right at the temple, the head actually becomes rather flat. You see that? Your skull is very flat on the sides. If I turn my head in a profile, you'll see it to be very round. But right at the temple is where it turns the corner and gets really flat. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just kind of... Just, I'm going to add two little lines there, and that's going to help me to remember that. And actually, I'm going to erase just this, just that edge there of, of the circle, of the sphere. All right, let's go ahead and get the, get the bottom of the nose. It's going to be right about here. And this is a little bit of a guess as I look at the relationship between these points, between this, 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 and even this. What is that, what does that triangle look like? All right. Usually this distance now is equal to this distance down here to the bottom of our bottom of her chin. So let's put that in as well. Okay, this side is going to come down. That looks actually, that doesn't look too bad right there at the corner of her mouth. Let's come back up here on this side. This is going to be the, the other side of her face over here, and it gets covered by her hair. All right, let's go, let's stay at the center line and go all the way up here to the hairline. So, what happens is from here up to the top, that's the hairline, and these are thirds so one third, two thirds, and three thirds. Chris says, uh, these side views always catch me out. <laughs> All right. They do. They do. I hear you. Okay. So here, there is our, there is our rough outline of our face. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. Oops, not that. I'll make it smaller when we get to her hair, okay? All right, let's go ahead and start like breaking this thing down just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna slightly erase this. All right, so here we go. Let's start up here at, for her nose and drawing a nose, you always wanna, not always, but you wanna start with a keystone shape. And then I like to put like, where is the imaginary, where is the tip of the nose? Where's the tip of the nose? So if this, if, if that red mark is where the bottom of our nose is, look at this, the tip is going to be right about there. Let's put a little line there, but make sure that we shift it a little bit to the right. OK, 
Okay. You notice on the left side there, I made it more angled and the, on her right side of that uh, nostril was straight almost. Nice curve and a straight there. <laughs> now, look at her. Look closely at her nose. There's a, there is definitely a slight, slight angle to it. There's a slight angle to it. You see that? So let's make sure. I'm just going to put this in really lightly. Okay, this the uh, philtrum. I think that's what it's called. This little section in between the nose there. All right, right in the middle there. This this is overlapping the nostril. So look at this. You see that? Whereas on the other side, it's not overlapping. The nostril is actually overlapping that. Very little, a little bit of the wing of the nose. You see that on that side? And then this other side, you're going to see a lot more of it because it's a three-quarter view. That's our brow line. Okay, we got our brow line there. Let's get our eye line, and our eye line is going to be somewhere like this. Keep it, keep it light. All right. Let's go ahead and work on our mouth here. All right. So, let's take a look at. Let me change this color to be green. It'll be easier to to see. So we want to be aware of these two points right there that's pretty important and also up here and down here that's that's kind of what we're looking for so let's see how we're doing here so we're probably like about like about like this this lines up to the outside of her no of her mouth there okay this is almost parallel this is almost uh straight across here and it's to the outside of her nostrils. You see this? Look at these vertical alignments. Chris says, wow, her lips are big. Doesn't feel right. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So look at that. The width, the width of those corners are wider than her nose. You see that? If we have to add more, we might have to add a little bit more in the jaw area here. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Let's come up here and make like a six-sided, what is this, a parallelogram? A parallelogram? parallelogram just make sure the right side when you do this make sure the right side is longer you see Yeah, I love it when features are exaggerated. No, this looks good. She's painted in 
I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. All right, there we got that. All right, now let's get this. Let's get the center section. We're gonna we're gonna do something like that right there. Okay, like a little mini smile, but make sure that it's a little bit longer on the right side of that center line. So here's our center line right there. So we're gonna. Make sure it's a little bit longer on the right hand side there. Let me go ahead and erase this now. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a V here. This is going to come down. <clears throat> oh boy, look at that. Let me make it let me make a small adjustment here. All right, that looks a little better. Let's go ahead and just come in here to the top lip and just add a light tone to it. And while we're at it, let's add a, a light tone to the right side of our nose. All right, let's get up to her eyes now, okay? When I draw eyes, I, I like to look at the relationship between the corners of the eyes, okay? Here's the other corner. And then vertically, where are they lining up? Just for the record, usually this distance is equal to an eye, so it's like three eyes wide. That sounds like a, a good name for a band, Three Eyes Wide. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Let's get this inner, uh, inner tear duct there. Okay, where's the other one line up? All right, lines up right about there. And then now I could look at the distance between those two dots and just say, okay, I'm about, there's my outside one right there. Look at the distance. And this is gonna be a little bit wider because it's three quarter. I can go right to there. <laughs> Chris can pay full, yeah. We're going to need three band members for three eyes wide. <laughs> All right. We're going to need a singer. Can anyone sing? I could play the tan <laughs> I could play the tambourine. <laughs> Maybe. But All right. Here we go. Let's keep going. All right, so let's talk about eyes real quick. Typically, when I draw an eye, I like to draw, uh, I like to think of it as three and two, all right? Three and two, three over two. What I mean by that is when I look, think of an eye, it's always nice to have one, two, three. And then if it's the, uh, if it's, if it's this side, then you go one and two. If I'm gonna do it to the other side, it would be, there's the eye, there's the, uh, the line. One, two, three, and then nice and long, one, two. 
This is just general, okay? It's a general approach. All right, let's go ahead and jump, put those in there. So we're at an angle, so I'm going to go one, two, three, one. It's a little bit easier to get these things squared up instead of trying to draw, well, not an almond shape, but the other going the other way. All right, here we go now. One, two, three. Okay, nice and long. One, two. Three over two. Okay, let's go ahead and, and put these pupils in. Whenever I draw pupils, not only am I thinking of the actual pupil itself, but I'm thinking of the whites of the eye. So I'm really looking at this negative space and this negative space, okay? Let's see, did we just lose? Oh no, there it goes. Okay, let's keep going. How are we doing with time? We're looking good right now. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. Now, this pupil is very... <clears throat> and we got this one over here. It's like, wow, it's really coming in tight. All right. I think that's going to do it for those pupils. All right, now let's go ahead and get the top of the eyelid in, and we can kind of follow what we got going here. So it's going to be thick and thin there. Okay. It's going to be thin. We'll come in and darken things up here in just a bit. Oh, while I'm at it, hey, listen, please do uh, do uh, like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, throw a comment of, what should we say, a comment of? Do you like drawing uh, the uh, ladies or the old men? What do you like, what do you prefer better, the older people or the younger people? That's a good good comment to throw at the bottom there. All right, let's get these eyebrows in here. Now I'm going to adjust. Make, I'm going to make a slight adjustment here. And on this side here, let's see. Just more clues so I can have an idea where I'm going with this. Okay, let's get this chin in and I'm gonna start, I've got all my features in place. Now let's kind of walk around the whole head as in general and get the general shape here. So we're gonna, gonna come in just a little bit there. Look at that beautiful cheekbone. Where does that cheekbone kind of ends right there that's like right almost to the top of her lips okay so let's kind of comes around here like this comes around grabs that jaw how about this side here okay so her hair is going to cover a lot of this but over here this is coming just a little bit lower. <clears throat> I 
Okay, I'm going to go in now and start darkening up a couple, a couple extra things. So let's start with this pupil of her eye. And I'm purposely darkening the top more than the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit of a tone to the uh, top part of her iris. Let's jump to the other side here. Again, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. And then I'm going to add a little bit of tone to her uh, nostrils. I'm adding a little bit of value to the corners of her mouth. And then I'm going to go ahead also and add a little tone to these eyebrows. All right. Let's work on our hair now. Your value turned into a mustache. <laughs> well, let's darken the hair up so we can get it to disappear a little bit. Okay, let's let's walk let's walk ourselves around the ear. Let's first before we do that though, let's kind of put a ring in here. So we'll have an idea where these earrings are gonna go. And then all I'm going to do now is just kind of walk my way very carefully, really paying attention to, to this negative, not this negative space, but this, this amount of space, okay? I've got a little too dark as well. Oh, you guys, I like you going dark. It's okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and get the neck. The neck usually will line up right with the sides of the head, okay? So let's see. She's got this neck coming here. And then where's the other one here? It's coming right out there. Now look at look at this. Let's let's get this turtleneck in, but be aware that this is has quite the uh, look at that. It has quite the oval. So let's uh, Getting some marks down here. Look at this. 
Look at that negative shape right there. And then look at this negative shape. Let's make sure we get those. And then the other side too. Let's see, how's that look? Boom. Maybe something like that. ready for this hair all right now first looking looking at the overall picture where is the lightest light where is the lightest light well in just with not with the background but in her face it's you know it's gonna be on her cheeks you know right right in this area the top hair area of her mouth but that light value is nowhere to be seen in her hair maybe a little bit in that center curl so let's do this. Let's go ahead and draw an overall tone for her whole hair here. Now remember I talked about cylinders when we first started, okay? All right, so let's start, I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna like think of like, there is this, this cylinder right about there, you see that? And then it changes direction. And, and remember what I said, C curves, straight lines, and S curves. <clears throat> That's really what we're looking for here. But she's got this, we're just kind of molding this out of clay. Cylinder right there. This like I'm, I'm taking a glob of clay per se. I'm establishing, establishing the overall shape and then I'm coming in with surface lines. That's what I'm doing. Think of the shape. That's all I'm doing. Find the shape. Finding those surface lines. Almost like you were drawing macaroni. sent out an email today that was asking everyone what their favorite type of music is. What music they like to listen to when they are, are drawing. Keep just keep drawing C's, C's, S's, and I's. Class guitar music for me, all right. 
I was listening to I on the email I had mentioned that I <clears throat> like to listen to uh, music scores. I mean uh, uh, movie scores. There's a nice S curve right there. Just keep working, working around, working around it. Hockey games. No, that's good. <clears throat> it's like, I like to listen to, like, I don't anymore, but I used to have the baseball baseball game playing in the background. So I get that. <clears throat> so that was a, a good answer there, Kevin. Oh, James says, feel like the top lip should be taller. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. I could, that would be, on, on mine, James, I think that's a great observation. I could have made the, uh, the top lip a little bit more fuller and taller. Good. Missed again. We'll watch tomorrow. Okay, Donna. <clears throat> okay, so at this point, I'm going to go back in and add another second secondary value. Now, I'm going to look a little bit more closer to the picture. And just in put the second value... right on top of my drawing oh little little peter paul and mary <laughs> let's see <clears throat> sandy have you heard of uh prairie home companion <laughs> when we when, here's a funny story. Well, it's not a funny story. It's just a story. When we moved out here, I heard this. Uh, I had a neighbor. Hey, I'm going to go see this this the Prairie Home Companion, a guy by the name of Gelson Keeler. Gelson? Gelson? Keeler, I think his name. Anyways, yeah, Peter, Paul, and Mary were playing. Were his opening act. That was kind of that was kind of fun. So as you can see, you know, putting in this hair, you just have to be very, uh, just methodical and slow. Don't rush it. Yet yeah, this guy Garrison Keeler would have these like old. It's kind of fun. They would do these like radio story hour type of things, <laughs> and they would have people on stage acting out all the parts, making all the sounds. But it was kind of fun to sit in the audience and watch them, and then they would have some type of musical act or whatever. It was good. But like I said, it was. The only time I ever saw Peter and Paul and Mary, so it was kind of, kind of fun to see them. Okay. 
This looks like a cartoon carrier. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll have to check that out. Okay, so now I'm just kind of going around the edge, the the edge of this. Uh, uh, I'm going around the edge just a little bit, and uh, adding like a silhouette for some of this, uh, <clears throat> some of these hairs that are sticking out. I don't know if this is working or not, but that's okay. I got I got talking too much and I totally left out my earrings. <clears throat> All right, let me. Uh, I think we're. I think I'm about done here. But let me uh, do this for you. Let's see. Um, oh, watch this. Use a little trickery here. Look at this. Now, now we can make this a a sci-fi. <laughs> like she's in, she is an astronaut. Did I wreck my drawing? I better not. All right. Look at that. She's a She's a restaurant. She's a uh, space space person from the sixties. <laughs> all right. Hey, listen. That's what I got for you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, do join our Facebook group. You're gonna like it. If you are uh, looking for a little extra help, join our. I have a free class uh, for beginning drawing. I'll make sure the link is also in the description down below. And uh, that's what we got. So you guys go have a great afternoon. Uh, my name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And this has been our Wednesday afternoon live. So happy to see everyone. All right. Go make your day great. Bye-bye.